Alrighty, we're gonna do a little bit of walking here. This here, these vines here, are uh, a perfect example of being able to uh, use use these here for cordage and for tying up and uh, this thing is way up there mm -hmm. but uh, they are still a little uh, this is definitely uh, not living now but uh, they are uh, really good to use for uh, all sorts of stuff at camp and so I'd like to be able to find that woodpecker that'd be nice to be able to see Oh, we can hear it. So, anyway. Alrighty. Well, clearly somebody's been out here uh, clearing the area. Uh, as you can see, somebody's actually cut that. So, I always liked that tree that was laying across the trail. That was always fun to walk across. I'm still going to walk across it. Because I don't want to... There we go. Hey. Yeah. That's dead inside. Well, yeah, it's very dead. But, uh, anyway, that's been laying there for for years. But, uh, somebody's been out here and clearing away some of this trail. Well, we'll continue on our little trek. Okay, um, I have to kind of complain a little bit. I'm, I'm going to. Uh, there was a huge tree that was sitting right here and there was a, a really thick vine let me get you see some of it here but uh, that vine right there went way up into that tree and uh, a couple years ago I cut the bottom part of it off so that it would uh, swing loosely and uh, I used it as a swing even at my age I still come out here and play and I used to swing way out there. I mean, it would go way out there. You know, I'd be about 20, 30 feet up uh, off the ground. And uh, I had such a fun doing that. And somebody came in here and cut down that big old tree and tore down my swing. Alrighty, we're at another spot that I want to stop off here real quick and show you. And uh, if you've watched my other videos, you may recognize this area. And uh, this right here is a spot that I uh, uh, set up a, a body trap. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody recognizes this area, but uh, that's what this area is right here. Alrighty, well this trail here leads up into a field where uh, deer like to go. They uh, lay up there a lot and uh, I've always liked that tree, that's pretty cool. That blocks off the, uh, the trail to most animals coming this direction. But uh, I see rabbit and squirrel running through there a lot. So uh, we're going to take option three. And we're going to head to the right. Alrighty, there's a cardinal. Indian. Oh man, how come they always do that? And again, sorry about the shakiness, but this is completely handheld. I'm just uh, walking down this little trail. It's a little bunny rabbit. I'm going to try to get this. Alrighty, that's a little better. Can you hand me that stick right there? You alright? Yeah. Coming down that hill. 
So we found the creek. There are all the animals around. We've seen uh, cardinals, we've seen a rabbit, uh, chipmunks, blue jays, a bunch of other different, uh, different stuff. So there's definitely uh, animals here. And I know there's deer here too. I've seen a few deer here a few times. And I know there's fish in here too. So I have been here before. Um, I've fished here before and I've caught uh, Crick Chub and uh, Bluegill. Of course, uh, this is new. This tree here wasn't uh, across the, the creek like it is now. So apparently it's uh, decided to fall uh, sometime this winter. So I haven't been out here since uh, last summer. But uh, this right here has always been a nice producing spot for me to fish. Uh, I've only been fishing here once or twice, but I have caught, I've caught enough of fish here that if I had to, I could, uh, I could fish here and uh, catch enough of stuff for uh, a little bit to last for a while. So we've had a good day, right? Yeah, we still have a uh, good part of the day left, but we've been exploring, we collected firewood, we have food and water. Uh, we have enough of gear to probably last us three months, really, way too much gear than we really need, but you know, I'm one of those people who uh, feel more gear uh, than the better off you end up being, if you can carry it. Uh, I, I think that, uh, I overdo myself with gear because in my view, uh, you know, I can always dump stuff or I can always get rid of stuff. But uh, once I'm out here, I can't necessarily gather it up. So uh, I prefer to have it with me and then just decide that uh, I'm not gonna need it and I'm not gonna use it. And I can either leave it at base camp or if it comes down to a situation where I was actually having to survive out here, uh, if, if I didn't really need it, I could just ditch it, but uh, it's kind of difficult to uh, make some of this stuff out in the woods. It's actually impossible to make some of the stuff in the woods, so I'd rather have it than and not need it than need it and not have it. So, what's your what's your view on that? Same. S same. Very talkative guy. So anyway, I'd like to thank Insurgency for coming out here and spending the day with me. We still have a lot to do, so uh, you guys have a good day. Surprise! Look who showed up. It's Hi. my wife Michelle from Way to Sun. Go check her out. Yeah, she came out to the campsite. Uh, she loves it out here. <laughs> I tried to I tried to get her into the tent, but she won't go. So anyway, I just wanted to say hi to her, and I wanted everybody to see she comes out to the campsites on occasion too. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs>